So, you want to be a filmmaker? I'm so glad that I've got this opportunity to share some filmmaking tips with you. This is the first video in the series of videos I'm making for beginner filmmakers. And I hope this will help you to get started on the right track, save time and money, be productive, motivated and successful. Coming up, 7 tips for beginner filmmakers. Tip number one, make a very short film. Whenever we learn something new, like a new language, a sport or even a video game, we always learn its basics and start from the level one and slowly move to next level. Similarly, in filmmaking, don't even think of making a feature length film in the beginning. Your first film should be as small as a 60 second film. Believe me, it will help you to learn a lot like uh, dealing with actors, costumes, lights, camera angles, editing process, dubbing, background music, etc. But your first few short films must be short with less actors, less locations, less props and less money. I remember my first short film was shot in just one room with two actors. Tip number two. Don't ignore light and sound. When I made my first few short films, I used no external sound or lighting equipment. The room's uh, tube light and the natural sunlight were my only source of lighting the scene and the built-in camera microphone was my only source of recording dialogues, ambience, etc. Well, I had no YouTube at that time and uh, I never went to a film school and I did not watch a video like this, so I made that mistake. But friends, please, please, please make sure you focus on light and sound equally. In the beginning, I don't want you to hire or buy expensive equipment uh, or technicians, but find a way to get proper light and sound in your video. More videos in future on light and sound techniques, so subscribe and stay tuned. Tip number three, accept criticism. Criticism is a part of filmmaking. We make films for audiences, so they have the right to, uh, to praise or complain. But here I'm not talking about uh, movie criticism, but the criticism you will get for what you do. People might hate you, might make fun of you and your amateur work, but your job is to keep working and keep improving and become a professional from an amateur. Haters are the biggest motivators. Tip number four, have a source of income. It takes a lot of time and hard work to be a full-time filmmaker unless your father is rich or in the film industry. Which I'm sure is not the case as you are watching this video. Make sure you have some sort of job or a business which helps you make some money before you start earning full-time from filmmaking. Make sure this job does not interfere with your main goal of being a filmmaker. If it does, change it. Because the only purpose of that job is to pay the bills. Tip number five, build and maintain a network. Network with people from the film industry, be it a makeup artist, an actor, cameraman, producer, director, new, old, big, small, everyone. Now, I must admit that I am very bad when it comes to being social and networking. But friends, if you develop this skill, you can grow 10 times faster and continue growing. Some people I know have become successful only because they had good networking skills and some people I know failed terribly just because they were good artists but had no networking skills. Tip number six, make lots of short films. Filmmaking is like any other skill. The more you do it, the better you do it. You cannot become a bodybuilder just by reading some books. You must lift weights. Tip number Seven, make learning a habit. Recently, I was doing an audition for an ad film and there was this actor, good looking, confident, and he was fit for the role, but I didn't hire him. Why? Because he had no knowledge whatsoever. But that was also not the problem. The real problem was that uh, that person had no interest in learning. He thought, acting is an art. You're born with it. Only looks matter. You cannot learn acting. Blah, blah, blah. If you don't want to spend few bucks on a book on filmmaking and if you don't want to spend few hours a week to read it, then better quit. There are people selling one day film school and stuff like that. So my request to all the beginners is that please don't get into that trap. 
I can understand that not everyone has a lot of time and money to go to a film school but it always helps. If you cannot go to a film school then please make sure you read as many books on filmmaking, attend some workshops and watch videos like these. Make learning a part of your life, make it a ritual, make it a habit. In the end, follow your own style. You may not follow all the rules but knowing them makes you a pro. That's it in this video, I wish you all the best. Subscribe for more useful videos and if you have any query, just ask. My name is Ashwini Thakur from Indiatainment and I will see you in the next video.